This is your brain, or at least it is very similar to yours, just preserved in a certain type of gelatin in order to keep its shape. And this, well, I hope this is not a scan of your brain. This is the brain of an addicted person. The red areas are damaged parts, so those parts that uh, have a significant difference compared to healthy individuals. When we look into these MRI brain scans, what we are really checking is a map of water distribution in the brain. Different tissues have different amounts of water, so in this way we can reconstruct the entire brain. Chronic addiction literally reshapes your brain. Long-term substance abuse can make certain areas smaller or larger. We have two big differences. The frontal cortex shrinks. That is the area that is responsible for logic, planning, self-control. This is an image of a person addicted to methamphetamines, but we can see differences also in other substances, including legal ones. For example, other areas instead will enlarge. If you have seen already our videos about neuroscience, you know that I'm speaking about the reward system that is at the base of addictive behavior. It is possible that these areas will recover afterwards, but these changes can be seen also after long periods of abstinence. Now, what about behavioral addictions? For example, social media addiction or gaming addiction? We will speak about their effect on the brain soon.